Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Our opening hymn is number 383, Here I Am, Lord. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist this morning, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to live among us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you strengthen us with the body and blood in your Eucharist. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of peace and lover of charity, who adored St. Elizabeth of Portugal with a marvelous grace for reconciling those in conflict, grant through our intercession that we may become peacemakers and so be called children of God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, take as your norm the sound words that you heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. My child, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you heard from me through many witnesses entrust to faithful people who will have the ability to teach others as well. Bear your share of hardship along with me like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope, hope in, in the Lord. Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they who hope, hope in the Lord. Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yieldeth fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Alleluia. May the Lord be your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you. Whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What is it about little children that we growing up should try to imitate? I think uh, the very fact that little children realize their complete helplessness, their dependence upon mom and dad, um, and whatever the need, they come running with outstretched arms, knowing that mom or dad are there to love them. Sometimes when they're frightened, they come running to mom and dad. When they're hungry, they come running to mom and dad. When, they're, when they need a loving hug and embrace, they come running to mom or dad. But they always come running with open arms. And so we have a position of prayer called the Oran's position where we extend our arms because this is the way we too as little children should go to God or Heavenly Father. Watching little children sometimes too and watching moms and dads, uh, I'm often inspired uh, by the love that parents have for their children. And sometimes I'll see a mother with... Uh, the baby in the basket in one arm and another toddler hanging on to her. And the oldest kid is maybe five and they come to the door and the oldest child uh, doesn't have the wherewithal yet to realize I should open the door for mom and let her in because she's saying, no, he just stands there and waits for mom to open the door. Uh, and in so many ways, we are like that too. We're just kind of helpless and thoughtless in the, in the eyes of God. Uh, so focus on, on ourselves or maybe not focus in all. And so I think we can learn a lesson from children. And I'll never forget uh, when I was in uh, Lindsay, Holy Family, their cafeteria was just a stone ro a room, uh, stone walls, hard plastic, hard ceiling. And you get 25 kids in there yelling and screaming. 
and the noise is just absolutely it blows your mind. And uh, they were waiting for the teacher to get the signal so they could go. And when the teacher finally gave the signal, all 25 little bodies tried to get through the door at the same time. And it was just a crush of humanity trying to get through that door. And uh, once they were gone, I was so pleased with the peace and the quiet. And after I finished my lunch, I was walking back to the rectory. And here are those kids who were so eager to get out. They were just running here and there and everywhere. There was no order or anything to their behavior, uh, just burning off all of that excess energy they had stored up. And I got to thinking, I wonder if we, if God doesn't look upon us that way too. We're so busy running here and there and every there and very often accomplishing absolutely nothing. And yet we're just burning off that excess energy uh, where maybe we could find a better purpose for it or spend our lives in a better way or spend more time in prayer just reflecting in God's presence. So uh, there's a lot we can learn from little children just by observing them and a lot we can learn about ourselves and uh, maybe watching them and uh, try to imagine God looking upon us as we're looking upon them. They give us some better insights into how we should be living our lives and uh, making uh, maybe having a little more sense of direction and purpose in what we're doing. So Jesus tells us, uh, unless we become like little children, we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. None of us can get there on our own. We have to depend on the Lord Jesus. So we need to come running to him, and as many of you do every day, with outstretched arms, asking him to take care of us, guide us, and show us the way. Oh, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to become more and more like little children, realizing how much we depend upon you for everything. Help us to trust in you completely and totally and come running to you with outstretched arms, being reassured that in your presence we are safe. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we now ask in Jesus' name. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, Bishop Conley, and Bishop Hannafield, and for all leaders in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our president and all who serve us in public office, that they will strive to be more like the signers of the Declaration of Independence and will they sacrifice everything, even their lives, for the good of our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, that they may experience the healing power of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they will share in the risen Christ's glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations, the priesthood and religious life, that as we as a parish community will encourage our young men and women to consider a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who serve in the military, and those first responders, that they may be kept safe from harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling over this 4th of July weekend, that they will return home safely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For sufficient rain and favorable weather throughout the summer months, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass this morning for Frank Laska. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all of our days, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Let us pray. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. <clears throat> to you, O Lord, most holy, merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all those who hold it to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you alone. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, and the hope of health and well-being, and paying homage to you, their eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and all the saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. And therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of, your, of our service that, and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count them in the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and prove this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. 
With eyes raised to heaven, your God is almighty Father, giving you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kind, kind, kindly countenance and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we pray, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high, and the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners who trust in your abundant mercy and love, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Isidore, St. Uh, Anthony, Zacharia, and St. Elizabeth of Portugal, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon to Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. And share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace.
Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if we're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 602. I have loved you. I have loved you. With an everlasting love I have called you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his joy and his hope. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. 
He will bring you his care and his love. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And our final hymn is number 455, Like a Child Rest. Like a child rest, like a child rest in his mother's arm, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. My God, I am not proud. I do not look for things too great. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. My God, I trust in you. You care for me, you give me peace. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. O Israel, trust in God, now and always trust in God. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in its mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.